looking at biology topic by topic. The last thing that we were looking at was the heart and looking at what goes on in the heart. I want to look at today how we can give perhaps the heart a bit of a helping hand and dealing with various problems that we get with the heart. The first of these sort of problems that we can have are things like leaky valves. Basically, valves that don't shut properly. Right, so what do we do with valves that don't shut properly? And our options really are to replace. If we replace them, then we've got to try and decide what we're going to try and replace them with. There are basically three choices. We can either use uh, something like titanium. And I had a, a friend who had this problem with his heart and he had his valves replaced with titanium ones. And these are the little sort of ball and cage in a cage and every time his heart beat he clicked and as he was walk walking down the corridor you could hear him click but it was better than the alternative which was being dead the next choice is to use polymers to use some sort of plastic these are gradually getting better and better, but these have to last the rest of your life and they have to sort of not allow clotting to occur. There are other choices. We could use something that's natural. And a pig is the obvious choice. And the reason we, we choose a pig is size. A pig's heart is about the same size as a human's heart. So we've got a large supply of this but there are some people who object to having this on ethical grounds. We can use cattle or even that upsets some people. We could use a human donor and all of those have ethical issues going with them. So for some people, they're stuck with titanium or polymers. But whether they last the same amount of time is a different question. Right, our next problem that we get is all to do with the heartbeat. And maybe the heartbeat isn't that regular. If the heartbeat isn't that regular, then what we can do is we can install a pacemaker. Basically, a pacemaker consists of a piece of wire going into the heart and connected to a clever battery. And this sends a beat regularly to the heart to keep the, the rhythm of the heart going. They don't weigh that much and normally the rest of the pacemaker is outside and with some of the clever ones nowadays they put the pacemaker wires inside the body and a little receiver and outside is a sort of a little device that sends a signal to tell this to send an electrical signal to try and get the heart to beat. The clever ones nowadays microchipped and they will get faster and slower to give someone a better life. If all this fails then our next problem is we're talking about a replacement. 
Now when we're talking about replacing the heart, our basic problem is one of rejection. We've got to get a heart that is suitable. People wait years for these. But there's a problem. Let's suppose your heart runs out and the replacement still hasn't been found. So there are on the market some artificial uh, hearts and these sort of mechanical ones do work. I believe the the longest someone sort of work, lived on one of these was several months. I think it was about 24 months, someone, two years, someone survived on one of these. But generally this has got to be plugged in somehow. And that's not really ideal. Generally, most mechanical hearts are too violent for the blood and damages it. So they have to be very gentle and this causes in itself lots of problems. So the best alternative is to replace this with someone sort of who's just gonna donate. But for someone to donate this means they actually have to die. And so we're just trying to wait for suitable hearts. And of course, you can't replace this from someone who had a heart attack. So we've got to get a replacement. This is probably the best choice, but these still don't last forever. And many of these only have a lifetime of perhaps 15 years. Most of this is due to tissue rejection. And people can wait on one of these artificial hearts, if necessary, for a while. But they're not ideal. So there we are, that gives us some idea about helping the heart. The next topic we need to move on to have a look at is that of breathing and gas exchange. And we're going to have a little look at how we breathe. Let's go over and have a look at this. And there's a little slight technical glitch there, so we will go over there in a moment. Now, when we're breathing, we're going to use our lungs to sort of do the work. And how we breathe is not necessarily intuitively obvious. If I ask someone to breathe in, they go... And I say, well, what have you done? Well, I've sort of I sucked the air in. And that's not strictly true. Let's go and have a look and see what happens. Now, here is my model of my lungs. It's not too bad compared with the real size. Here, Here we've got, got my cereal, cereal box, box and that's all it is and, and I've got a couple of large balloons in there and I've got a diaphragm and this diaphragm is just a piece of rubber, it's a balloon put on there. So this is my model of my lungs, it's about the right size, it's about the right height even if it isn't the right width I'm a bit wider than this so let's have a look at this and Paul's just going to follow around right what have we got we've got a little plastic tube at the top 
This is in fact in my case a piece of rubber tubing. This then goes and is split into two rubber tubes joined by a bit of a balloon and then we've got two balloons here I'll try and show you them a little bit better two balloons which are at the moment fairly deflated the volume of this box stays the same it's made of rigid plastic it's not going to move at the bottom is a hole and the hole we've covered Paul's doing his best to try and work out where I'm going is covered with a rubber of a balloon if I now pull this down the volume inside of the box gets bigger and as it gets bigger the air pressure in here gets lower nature doesn't like that so air rushes in through the top here and fills the balloons so you can see our balloons open and shut open and shut open and shut Now let's put this near a microphone and you might hear something. Can I put it on that microphone and you video this? Now I'm going, going over, over here, here to, to the microphone, microphone and, and I'm just, just going to try and breathe, breathe in, in with, this. with this. Okay, okay so now you, you might, might have heard that. that. I don't know, I, I can't hear that. I can hear it myself and it sounds like normal breathing. And that's what it is, that's the sound that we're hearing, air rushing in. So, as the diaphragm goes down, the pressure in here decreases, air rushes into the lungs and equalises the pressure. When the lungs deflate, the volume in this box gets smaller the air pressure therefore increases in here pushes on these balloons and that's then going to push the air out of this hole and keeping the pressure constant at all times and you can see it works. Now when I'm bringing air in here let's see how far the air is going. So as I breathe in air is filling all the lungs here and pushing out it empties them. Filling up emptying them. So, we are managing to move that volume of air outside, going down here, the trachea, to the bronchioles, into the lungs itself. But it's not moving the air the entire way. Let's have a look at what's going on. Down. Down. If I, if I try and draw, and draw this, this out, out what we've, we've then, then got, got is my little tube. tube. We've got, we've got it, coming it coming down, down into my lungs. lungs. So, so if, if I, try I try and draw, and draw out, out my body, body cavity, cavity, at the, the moment, moment we, we have basically equal pressure, pressure to the outside. To the outside. So, so it equals, equals the, outside. the outside. When, when the this diaphragm, diaphragm comes, comes down, down, then
The volume, the volume is, greater, is greater, and the, and the pressure, pressure will be lower. Be lower. So, so this, this forces, forces air, air in. in. Literally, Literally air, air is sucked, sucked into, into your, your lungs. lungs. And the and lungs, lungs inflate. inflate. When, when we, we breathe, breathe out, out, the diaphragm moves back, back, the volume, the volume becomes, becomes smaller, smaller, and the, and the pressure, pressure becomes, becomes higher, higher. And, and air, air is, is literally, literally forced, forced out, out of your lungs. lungs. And the, and the lungs, lungs inside, inside become, become smaller. smaller. Breathing, breathing in, in, the lungs, the lungs become larger, larger and, and breathing, breathing out, out they become, become smaller. smaller. Now the now lungs have actually got structure, structure to them, to them so, so that they, they don't, don't actually, actually do, do too, too much. much. We've, We've also, also got, got ribs. ribs. And, and if, if I ask, I ask you to breathe, breathe in, in it's, it's quite interesting, interesting what happens, happens and, and also to show, show what, what happens, happens as, as I breathe, breathe in. in. I don't I think, think I, I had the right, the right uh, thing, thing on there. there. Oh, no, there we go. Go. Right. right! Now, now what, what Paul's going to do is have a look at my up to my ribs. So I've got here the space for my lungs. Here's my ribs. And normally I'm just talking and breathing, no problem, and my ribs are basically not moving. But if I breathe in, then my chest expands, and I breathe out as much as I can. It's getting much, much smaller. So my lungs are controlled by both my diaphragm here, which is Paul's going to look, put the camera down a little bit, that's it. It's going to go down and up, down and up, probably not that much. And that's going to increase my chest cavity. Let's have a look at what my lungs look like. And I've got a couple of here that I've just uh, taken out. My wife knitted these. So we've got our trachea. The trachea then, then divides into bronchioles, bronchioles and this is about the size of my lungs. They're, they're certainly the right length, length and, they and they run from more or less my collarbone down, down to the end of my ribs. How, How wide, wide are they? Are they? Well, well they're going to fill up this gap from one side of my chest to the, to the other. other and, and how deep are they? they? Then they're, they're going to go from the back to the front because that's the space that we've got. We get a little hole here in the lungs and that is space where I can shove my heart which sort of fills up this sort of cavity. So it gives an idea of the size of your lungs. There's some of the largest organs that you've got in your body and uh, we've got some idea there of how big they are. Right, okay. Let's look at how that works and then I'll look at how I go breathing. And then what I'll show you in a minute is my lung capacity. And how that works with my heartbeat right so hopefully some more bits that I forgot to come will come in a moment right here we go so, so let's, let's look, look at, at what, we've what we've actually, actually got, got in, in the structure, the structure of, of a lung now, now if, if we, we look, look at, at what, what we've, we've got, got then, then if we, if we take, take somebody's, somebody's head, head 
we've, we've got, got a pipe coming in from the nose, nose a pipe, pipe coming in from the mouth, mouth and, and they, they join, join together, together to go, to go down, down and in the, in the trachea, trachea and get, and get split, split into, into two tubes, tubes the, bronchioles. the bronchioles. And, and these, these bronchioles, bronchioles then, then will divide, divide and, and divide, divide making, making it up, up then progressively, progressively finer, finer and finer, and finer tubes, tubes covering, covering the whole, the whole part, part, whole of the lungs. Here's, Here's our heart, heart in the middle. In the middle. Until, until we get, we get down, down to the, to the smallest, smallest edge, edge of the lung, the lung and there's, and there's loads, loads of these, of these and, and these, these are, are the alveoli. alveoli. Let's, Let's draw, draw an alveoli. alveoli. This, is this is why when my, when students, my students come, come into, into a lesson, lesson they don't understand necessarily, necessarily what, what I've drawn, drawn because, because they're, they're not very good at drawing. Let's, Let's have, have a look at an alveoli. Right. right. It's, it's got, got a, a very, very thin, thin wall here. here. One, One cell, cell thick, thick generally. generally. And, and going, going around, around here, here is, is a capillary. A capillary. Now I'm, I'm just drawing, drawing this in two, two dimensions, dimensions, but in, but in fact, fact this is going to be in three, three dimensions. dimensions. And, and these, these capillaries, capillaries are going to move, move over, over the surface, the surface of, this of this sphere. sphere. Air, Air comes, comes in, in largely, largely by, by breathing, breathing in and out. And out. But, but for the for last distance, distance this, this is going to probably, probably move, move in, in by, by our old friend, friend diffusion. diffusion. As, As the, the blood, blood is a red, red blood, blood cells, cells beautifully, beautifully spaced, spaced here. here. As, As they, they move, move around, around here, here, they are, they are in, the in the liquid, liquid here, here, in the in plasma, plasma, they are high in CO2, and, and they are low in, in oxygen. oxygen. This, this is, is about, about the same, same as the air, air we breathe, breathe. So, so we've, we've got, got somewhere, somewhere in the region, region of about 20% 20 oxygen, oxygen and about 0.04% CO2. CO2. We've, got We've got much, much higher, higher CO2, CO2 here. here. Let's, Let's say, say it's, it's about 4%, four four possibly even higher. higher. So, so the, the CO2, CO2 by, by diffusion, diffusion moves, moves out, out of, of these, these the plasma, plasma into, into the alveoli. The alveoli. Taking, taking our, our concentration, concentration up. up. Of course, of course if, if the outside, outside is still, still much, much less, less then, then this CO2, CO2 is going to diffuse, diffuse out, out to, to make, make the, outside the outside world, world happier. happier. Inside, Inside we've got, we've got some 20% oxygen, oxygen which makes, which makes up, up our atmosphere. And, and the blood, blood vessels, vessels are fairly, fairly low in oxygen. oxygen. So, so our oxygen, oxygen is, going is going to diffuse, diffuse into the blood, blood and, be and be taken up, up by this, this chemical, chemical which we will call hemoglobin. Now, and hemoglobin is very good at high concentrations, high concentrations of oxygen, oxygen taking, taking it up and, and sticking, sticking it to it. it. And so, and so Oxygen, oxygen is removed, is removed from, from the alveoli, the alveoli into, into these, these red, red blood, blood cells, cells as they, as move, they move along. along. But, of, but course, of course, as we as lose, we lose this, this, more cells, cells come, come along, along with more, more plasma, plasma, which is, which is higher, higher here. here. So, so we are, we are constantly, constantly replacing this area, this area with... with more, more CO2. CO2. 
and, and we're, also we're also subsequently, subsequently replacing, replacing the bottom, the bottom bit here, here with lots, with lots of, O2 of O2 going, going in, in here. here. But these, but these cells, cells are moving, moving away, away carrying, carrying the oxygenated, the oxygenated blood, blood to the heart. heart. So, they're so they're being, being replaced, replaced again, again with, with red, red blood, blood cells, cells which want more, more oxygen. oxygen. So they're, so they're constantly, constantly pulling in oxygen from the alveoli which is which getting, is getting to, be to be a lower concentration, concentration. So, so more comes, comes in from the from atmosphere, atmosphere by, by diffusion. diffusion and that, that is, is constantly, constantly changed, changed by the breathing. breathing. What do we do with, with our alveoli? How, How are, are they adapted? adapted? Well, well, we've, we've got, got loads, loads of capillaries on them. them. We've, We've got, got blood, blood flow, flow which, which is, is constantly, constantly replacing, replacing the high amounts of CO2 with more higher amounts of CO2. Of CO2. So, so as they are removed, removed, more is replaced. And, and the, the low oxygenated blood keeps, keeps coming, coming in as the higher oxygenated blood, blood is removed. removed. So we've got blood flow. Flow. These, these things, things are, are nearly spherical, spherical these, these alveoli. alveoli. Now, and because, because they're, they're spherical, spherical, they, they have, have a very, very large, large surface, surface area, area to volume. volume. The, the surface, surface of, of this, this, I suppose, I suppose let's, let's try and draw this to sort of give you an idea, idea of how, how this, this might, might work. work. And, and to give you an, an idea, idea, I've got, got then, then my capillaries. capillaries. So, so we've, we've got, got the cells, cells of my capillaries, capillaries against, against the wall, the wall of, of my alveoli. And then, and then we've got, got red, red blood, blood cells, cells moving, moving along. along. So, so this, this is, is the capillary, capillary wall. wall. And, and this, this is, is the alveolar wall. wall. This, this distance, distance is, is small. small. And, and we've, we've got, got liquid, liquid here. here. The liquid, the liquid helps, helps the gas, the gas dissolve, dissolve into, into it and, and move across, across into the membranes. The membranes. And, and here, here anyway, anyway, we've got, we've got the got plasma, plasma, which will which also move out, out taking, taking some of the CO2 with it. So, so all, all in all, all very, very short, short distances, distances for movement. movement. This, this gives, gives us, us a high, high concentration, concentration gradient, gradient it, it gives, gives us, us a short, short distance, distance to move, to move. And, and all, all of, this of this increases, increases our, our rate, rate of, of Breathing. breathing. And our, well, our lungs, lungs as we've seen, are quite big. big. But if we, if we take, take our lungs, lungs and we iron them out, out, it's, it's going to be quite, quite large. large. Something, Something like, like if we, if we are, are familiar, familiar with, with table, table tennis, tennis perhaps, perhaps, then, then it's, it's going to be somewhere, somewhere between, between 10, 10 to 15, 15 table, table tennis. tennis. Sort of, sort of tables. tables. Another, Another way to look at half, half, uh, half, half a tennis court. It, it really is quite a large area. area. If, if we could, could iron, iron your, your lungs, lungs flat. flat. So, so we've got, got an idea, idea how, how they, they work. work. 
we can, we can look, look at, at a few a more bits and pieces about lungs and uh, I'm gonna just do a couple of bits here to have a look and I've got my little kit here with various bits and pieces in so I've got here an idea about how large my lungs are so I've got a tube here which can measure up to six litres and what I've got going with that he says hopefully there we go the elastic band to have a look at right let's let's go and have a look and see what we can do with a couple of machines and see what we can see right, right first, first off, off then we've, we've got, got this long tube which I've laid down here and what I'm going to do with this long tube is trying to keep no it put no air in there I'm going to put on a mouthpiece here right it will do it's going to hold on and we've got this mouthpiece and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to see if I can fill as much of this as I can so what I'm going to do is take a very deep breath in and then I'm going to expel as much as I can right that was as much as I can put in there and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay this out and that's about it I think so that gave my lung capacity here at about four litres seems to be about four litres right I'm not going to try that one again for a while but I am going to try a different one Away so I can use it again. Try and get all the air out. Right. right. Give me a bit more space. The next machine is this one. And some of you may have seen these things. We put a mouthpiece in here and what I'm going to do is try and work out my basic lung power and it's going to give me some idea of the number of litres a minute I can try and do when we try and do this we blow in here it's important not to put your fingers over there because it stops the little thing moving along so I'll keep my fingers out of the way and what I'm going to do is give this a really good blow so what I'm going to do is take a really deep breath in and blow out as hard as I can here we go and on this one you'll see that generally I've done reasonably well there and I've got about 525 that sort of number 
which is not too bad for someone especially of my age I suppose for those who are interested my age is 21 and a little bit we can see how my fingers are going um, to look at my oxygen in my blood uh, we've got a little here thing called uh, a pulse oximeter and this only works if you don't have um, painted nails so I'm just going to put this on and press the little button and what I'm going to do is it's going to measure my pulse and how much oxygen in my finger there and there we've got my pulse at about 76 and the amount of oxygen in my blood in my finger is about 95 percent so there we've got that can you see? that's better you can see it a bit better like that heart rate there we are 78 and my oxygen 95 percent and you can see that I'm actually alive I've got some sort of heartbeat what else can we do well we can also check my blood pressure I've got a blood pressure meter here and I could do that and then usually going through this you can also listen to your heartbeat and this I'm not going to try because trying to get you to hear what's going on is just not really practical we would need a better system than we've got to try and do this so we've got here some ideas about breathing right clear up there and have a look at breathing in plants I often ask students to find me the lungs on a plant and they look at me stupid and say well plants don't have lungs no they don't but they do have some organs that do some breathing or gas exchange and after a little bit students start to think and say yeah okay it is the leaves of the plant let's have a look to finish at this if I've, if I've got, got my, my typical, typical leaf, leaf coming, coming in, in there's, there's my, my stem. stem. There we are, oh, a, leaf. a leaf, not, not one of the greatest, greatest ones, ones ever drawn. drawn. And, and this, this leaf, leaf will, will have some tubes, tubes coming, coming up. up. And, and everyone, everyone can, can see, see that, that we've got, got little, little veins, veins on, on the leaves. The leaves. Oh, oh yes, yes, that's, that's the movement, movement of, of water. water. So, so we've got, we've the, got veins the veins of the leaf. Of the leaf. And this and is this how water, water H2O, H2O gets, gets into, into the leaf. The leaf. Well, well, how are we going to get the air in there? Well, for, well, that, for that, we've got to look, look at a cross-section cross of a leaf. leaf. And that's, that's going to look something like this. this. We've got, We've got a top, a top layer, layer and, and this, this tends, tends to be, to be fairly, fairly waterproof, waterproof. So, so we've got, got a waterproof, waterproof membrane, membrane here. here. So, so this, this is, is often, often called, called waxy cuticle. Not, Not found, found on every plant. plant. We've, We've got, got then, then a thin, a thin layer, layer of generally fairly, fairly transparent, transparent cells. cells and this, and this is, is the upper, upper epidermis. epidermis under, under this, this we've got, got some long, long thin, thin cells, cells.
These, These are, are the palisade, palisade cells. cells. Sometimes, Sometimes called, called the palisade, palisade mesophyll. mesophyll. Palisade, Palisade mesophyll, mesophyll cells. cells. And, and these, these are the are ones, ones that are going to do all photosynthesis. This, this is, is where, where the photosynthesis takes, takes place. place. Under, Under here, here we've, got we've got some, some more cells, cells which, which are, are generally, generally more spaced, spaced out. out. And, and sometimes, sometimes in here, here we've got, got a little, little vascular, vascular bundle, bundle of, of cells. cells. So I'll make a wall here. here. And, and then, then we've, we've got, got some, some big, big cells, cells here. here. These, These are going to be, be the xylem. And, and we've got some, some smaller cells, cells up, up here. here. These are, These are going to be, be called phloem. And um, um, we've got, got these, these other cells, cells filling, filling in, in this, this space, space here. here. We'd, We'd lots, lots of spaces, of spaces between, between them. them. And, and this, this is, is called, called the spongy, spongy mesophyll. mesophyll. The spongy, spongy mesophyll, mesophyll cells, cells have got, got all this all air gaps, gaps between, between them because, because air, air is encouraged, is encouraged to, circulate to circulate around, around. And, and water, water comes, comes out, out of here, here and, and leaks out. out. So we've so got, got plenty of water, water here, here and, and we've, we've got, got through, through the, the bottom, bottom epidermis, epidermis. We've got, we've some, got some big, big holes. holes. The, the hole, hole is, is called, called a, a stoma, stoma. And, and surrounding, surrounding it are two cells, two cells called the guard, the guard cells. cells. These, These are rather, rather clever, clever in, in that, that the guard, guard cells are normally, are normally shut like this and when they fill with water they bend open, making a hole which allows the gas to go in and out. So, so we, have we have a stoma, a stoma for a for hole, hole, the guard, guard cells, cells let, let in, in water, water. I let, I let out, out water, water and let, let in carbon, carbon dioxide. dioxide. So, so carbon, carbon dioxide, dioxide is going to go through, through this hole and, and oxygen, oxygn, the waste, waste product of photosynthesis, is going to come out. out. If there isn't much water, water in this, in this leaf, leaf then, then these cells, cells don't, don't have, have much water in and they, they close, which, which stops, stops the water escaping, escaping and it keeps, keeps the water, water in this part, part of, of the leaf. leaf. Quite, Quite ingenious, ingenious design, design really. really. Light, Light comes, comes down, down, goes, goes through, through these cells, cells which is which normally is transparent. transparent. And, and these cells, cells do all the photosynthesis, so do these, these a little bit, but not as much. much. And, and these, these cells, cells are supplied with, as well as, well as lots of light, light. And, and they've got, got chloroplasts in them to turn the sunlight, sunlight into something some useful, useful sort of energy. energy. And, and we've got, we've got the CO2, CO2 coming in, in the water, water coming in, and they combine with the light energy to make, to make glucose, glucose which, is which is taken up by the phloem, and, and the oxygen, oxygen gas, gas, which is a by waste, waste byproduct, product, which, which comes, comes out through, through the stoma. stoma. If we've if got, got lots, lots of stoma, of stoma they're, called they're called stomata. stomata. So, so there, there we've, we've got, got some, some ideas, ideas about 
how, how a, plant a plant will work. work. And, and although you wouldn't, wouldn't be asked, be asked to, to draw, draw that, that diagram, diagram, you might, you might be, asked be asked to label, label it, it, and you'll and definitely, definitely be asked, be asked to, to understand, understand how it, how it works. works. To know, to know the, names the names of the different, different cells. cells. The ones, the ones I, I haven't put, put in here are, are the lower, lower. epidermis. So, so waxy, waxy cuticle, cuticle top, top to stop, stop the, the water, water evaporating, evaporating off, off the top of the plant. plant. Not fine from all. all. The upper, the upper epidermis, epidermis and the lower, lower epidermis, epidermis holding the bits together. together. We have, we have the palisade, palisade mesial cells, cells doing, doing the photosynthesis, photosynthesis or most, most of it, and, and then we have the spongy mesial cells, cells aiding, aiding with this, this gas, gas exchange, exchange because, because they are the equivalent, equivalent to lungs, lungs in, in a human, human. And, and we have these little holes to allow, to allow the, the air, air to go, to go in. in, but they but can be restricting the airflow air if, if there isn't, isn't so much, much water, water in the plant. In the so, so there is our organ of our plant, plant which, which is the leaf. The leaf. And, it's and it's made, made up, up from these, these different, different cells, cells or collections of cells, of cells, the plant, plant tissues. tissues. That, gives that gives us some sort of idea about then the heart and what we do with deal with some of the problems it gives us some of the ideas about the lungs and breathing and about the organ of a plant the leaf which does its gas exchange that's it from me this time if you liked what you saw please subscribe and i will see you same time next week thank you for watching bye bye